not if you want to watch. Assalamu alaikum man Assalamu alaikum Faba sunglasses brother Mahmudul Hassan from Bangladesh Wa alaikum salam brother It's been a while, it's been a while Alhamdulillah you know I wanted to discuss this here yeah? um, the, the shahada recently I had um was mad i was working uh, working and giving dawah as you do you know because people ask questions why you're a muslim and all that for about eight nine months i've been giving um this person literature and youtube links and all that stuff to watch and uh, the other day uh, a few days back all of a sudden the brother uh, seemed very keen in um, what do you call it uh, interested in Islam and like I got the feeling he wants to take his shahada and what happened was while I was discussing with him I can tell the brother was a little bit nervous and you know he needed a little nudge so I was talking to him and there's another Muslim brother who sensed it as well yeah that well, there's a shahada uh, opportunity here. And the guy kind of bulldozed his way in and uh, tried to uh, basically hijack the hijack it. So what I did, I kind of took a back step. I thought, I don't want to start arguing in front of the guy. I start telling him, you know, like fighting over a girl, you know, like people do sometimes, you know, like these sort of situations. It was like fighting over like the shahada. So I kind of backed off and said, all right, it was rude of him the way he did that. He doesn't even know the guy just came in, start hijacking the situation. Alaikum salam by the Zico. Um, so while I was doing that, I backed off, giving the uh, other guy came who, who came out the blue to take the charge. So then what happened was, cut the long story short, the guy who was the guy who took the shahada, he said, "Excuse me, bro, can I speak to that brother there?" Uh, Saeed because uh, I know him I've been speaking to him for a while if you don't mind do you understand so um, so the brother came to me and he spoke to me and then he took his shahada um, he took his shahada with me and after taking the shahada guess what happened that same brother goes to him straight away you have to remove all your tattoos You'll have to uh, grow your beard this long. You have to do this, you have to do that. And he was scaring the guy, you know, like trying to put like, he said, you have to do this, you have to do that. And I can tell, making the guy feel uh, like, shit, what did I do here? Did I, am I, did I make a mistake? So I told the guy, I took him to a side and I said, brother, ignore him. Yeah, you've taken a big step. You've, you've bought the ticket to the Jannah. Now, what you do is read read the Quran and take it easy you know rather than um, what can I say like that other guy said you have to grow a beard you have to cut your this you have to remove all your tattoos you have to do this you have to do that you can't do this you can't do that um, the guy's even telling um, if your mom tells you do this stay away from the family you know it's crazy how the guy was doing this you know 
um, I left the guy to in, for, it took me about nine months yeah and I, I just thought you know what just pass it on to him he was asking questions I never had the intention of oh I want the numbers you know what I mean and um, alhamdulillah after six seven eight nine months something like that the brother came and he was interested and he's uh, he's done his studies and he's taking his shahada but my advice is to people uh, if anyone as Muslims yeah, regardless who you are we always give that way, yeah? That's that's the way, you know? You learn something, even one line, and you pass it on to people. This is the way it is. Um, hold on. Because my thing was unlisted, man. I don't know if I'm still alive or what. Yeah. So, uh, my advice is, when you give shahada and stuff like that, if you see someone's, like, a brother's doing it, don't try to hijack it and think that, Oh, I want to do the shahada, you know, I want him to um, I want him to uh, Say after me or whatever because in my heart at that time I was thinking to myself, you know what? He, this guy can't take away the ajr, the khair um, That I'm gonna get from Allah anyway, so I wasn't really hungry on oh he has to re uh, copy me and stuff so uh, That's what it was What the hell happened there man? You seen the fight in the park today? Go and watch some dawa. Really? Who, who, who between who? I'm going there now, actually. Um, I'm going to the park now. So share the link on the chat between you guys. Who, who had a fight? Anyway, I'm going to go uh, to the park and go live and I'm going to do sit down and discuss this uh, video properly. You know what? Let me see. Uh, I probably can share the screen and watch it with you guys. If I press that, what happens here? Nope. That's the thing, I don't like to actually talk about an important thing. I'm gonna do this dream again man. It's really messed up. Get to the park. Uh, gets. What was that? Can you comment? Can you see my comment? Yeah, Moin Khan, I can. I can see your comment, bro. I can. I'm gonna do this video again, man. I kind of messed up because um, when I started this video, because my setting is set up as uh, soon as I go live, um, it's set up on unlisted, you know? And um, so I have to start again, man. I might go to the park and do a video. There we go, the documentary trailer is here. I'm ready, we've got 10 kgs in one hour. Of course, it's gonna get a lot of views because my man's been. <laughs> Promoting it like no one's business, you know. Look at them trying this time, subhanallah, man. Look at uh, this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Subhanallah. Allah save us. Uh, Mohin Khan still waiting for you to call. Oh to call CB. Yes, yes. My big. While you guys are here, I don't know. Um, did you, did you guys know I got a recently? I got, uh, um, got a shahada. Um, Hold on. Alhamdulillah, I got a shahada recently, and I'll repeat it again. Uh, I'm on the way to the park anyway. I'll go live from Marvel Channel OSCC Dawa once I'm there. But um, 
what I wanted to advise yeah, the pros and cons from this hard experience is if you see a brother giving dawah to somebody and you just went there and then you decide you know what you get hungry and decide you know what I want to take over this situation and I want to get that shahada subhanallah man uh, why do you why do you want to derail the whole thing you know butt in and dis destroy it like that that's number one number two as soon as a person taking the shahada why would you uh, bombard them with uh, commands that you yourself probably don't do to the T the way you're telling that new person to do you know it's funny how people you know um, what do you call it yes advice from people yeah you don't have to be an, um, an alim but don't disguise advice in a in a question in a sly little dig in a form of a question you know those and advice is advice you don't have to ram it down their throat and it's crazy how this guy nearly messed this shahada up by telling the guy to remove all the tattoos and this and that you know so I felt really awkward you know because I actually backed off before the guy took the shahada but look at that uh, look at the way it happened. The brother goes, I want to talk to him, please, if you don't mind. You know, it's crazy, you know. Uh, who was the guy who got in the way? Oh, you all know, he's a Muslim guy, man. He was a Muslim guy. Um, what was it? Uh, stupid, uh, like, oh, stuff, I don't want to say stupid. A bit of a, I don't know why, man. I, to me, I can't read his mind yet, so I don't want to... Uh, to me, it seemed like he wanted to take over the Shahada. And, um, uh, you know, he just wanted the limelight, you know. And uh, look, guys, yeah, if I was into all of that sort of stuff, yeah, I could have got my camera out and got the Shahada on camera, do you understand? Because I'm a YouTuber, I always want to, you know, put, put things, good things like that on, uh, on, my, on my channel and stuff. But the reason I didn't do that, yeah, because, come on, it was a... I know for a fact the camera could mess it up, the guy could get put off. So I didn't want to say, oh, can I get it on camera and pull my camera out? That's the reason, but I did ask the guy that um, soon he's going to do a video with me because he doesn't want his family or anyone not knowing straight away because um, he kind of, uh, their family is kind of seduced by the far right, um, Tommy Robinson and all that sort of stuff, but look man, he was, he was like, uh, he used to hate Muslims. And, you know, that's how it was. That's how the situation was. He actually used to hate Muslims. Um, that's how bad it was. But Alhamdulillah, yeah. He, um, he works with us. He's, he's a, you know, like, I don't want to give too much information away. He sells, uh, you know, like body shop, car body paint. He mixes it up and he um, comes and sells paint. Um... So yeah, that's how it was, you know. Cynthia, I have to block you and problem solved, right? What's happened? Um, is the guy white? Yeah, 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 the guy's white. The guy's white and um, what do you call it? He was basically, you know, the, the online radicals radicalized him, like Fox News and, and uh, people online like that. These are radicals, man. They are they radicalize people. Even Donald Trump, someone like that, man, um, incites violence and hate and stuff like that. So no one likes to talk about these sort of uh, groomers, you know. So yeah, should get him in contact with EF Dawa. He needs help. Actually, um, he watched quite a few of Brother Hamza's video. That's how um, I. Sham Hamza, Shamsi, Hijab, um, who else? Uh, Guidance Avenue, and all that. Watched all of the um, all of the channels, all of the brothers. I selected a playlist and I sent it to him, and he will watch it one by one. And in the space of uh, eight nine months, Alhamdulillah, yeah, that he um, would you call it uh, embrace Islam, man. And uh, Wallahi man, he was crying. He was crying so much. It's unbelievable. He made me cry the way he was crying. You know, it's like um, 
my first Shahada experience, bro, like, I felt like um, all the hair on my body was standing up. Goosebumps. I had goosebumps. So, um, Wallahi, um, it's an amazing feeling. And, uh, Allah accept it. And, um, can you imagine what he does? Shareholder. You know, it's crazy. It's like nuts. And one thing I noticed as well, another thing, um, grown men, man, come to the park online behaving like, um, I've probably been part of it as well, yes, that's why I've left all this hangout stuff, acting like kids, man, mocking people, joking, like, um, insults, cursing someone's mom and dad, and all this sort of stuff, it's crazy, um, online, this online nonsense. And sometimes you need to take back, look, look at yourself and see how old are you and um, what is all this about? All this fighting and, and uh, I don't know, do you know who, what was the fight about? Sam Biggs. What was this fight about? I kind of, I kind of, as well, man. Assalamu alaikum, my brother Trump in the building. Wa alaikum assalam, brother Nisar. How are you doing, Aki? You know what, yeah? Inshallah, I do. I know I keep on saying it, but I get busy, held up, this, that, the other. And um, there's few brothers recently telling me to go live, and um, you know, all this online drama's been going on. There's people talking about. Islam and important matters like that but if you can't get the basics um, practicing the basics like treat your brother with respect don't join in with the slander when information comes to you verify it when it's Salah time end it go to pray Salah you know remind each other sometimes I could be online could be Salah time could be into a online thing a brother should come on and remind it and don't hate on the brother that comes on and reminds you, you know what, look bro, it's Salah time. We should pull each other from um, harm, the hellfire, man. We should pull each other from it. That's the way it is, man. Sometimes my Iman will be low, your Iman will be high, you can pull me up, or vice versa. What the hell's wrong with you, man? So, um... So what I wanted to do, yeah, because these brothers wanted to wanted me to do a hangout and they wanted to give some uh, positive message. So I'll probably do a hangout tonight and let me see if they want to come on. And I'll discuss this Shahada experience properly rather than driving. I don't know if you can hear me properly or not, but it's, don't be in that situation. Never be in that situation when you see another person uh, giving dawah and that person you feel it that person's about to take the shahada what do you do you try to hijack it because you want to do it what the hell man like you, uh, do you understand and then when an, a river a new river bombard them with um these sort of uh, some of the things you probably you don't even do subhanallah man the guy actually i just remembered hasn't got a beard himself he's telling him he's to grow a beard oh can you believe that man wow man i just remembered that now the guy don't even have beard himself and he's telling him keep a beard um uh, subhanallah man it's remove the tattoos you have to do this you have to do that literally scaring the guy you know literally trying to put him off what is all that about man what is all that about What's going on? If I've missed anyone, salam or alaikum as salam. Um, the park is packed. I can see it from here. It seemed like an Argentinian. Let's see. We'll stay live on this one. When I get to the park, I'll change it and I'll go to that one because I've been um, off YouTube for a while now, on and off. So, 
um, it makes sense to go live from my other one so I might get more people in you know mashallah that looks nice So are you going to the park now? Some big yeah, 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 I am. Okay. I had a lot of things to do, and then I thought to myself that and that is just this. the problem is um. I'm not planning on showing off of how I got substance, nothing more, nothing less. CP is yeah, makes sense. That's it, yeah. I don't know, bro. Like, you must, you must have seen all the drama videos. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What's yours? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bro. It's all about Ahmed. I stopped coming as well. Yeah, I'm from London. East. <laughs> Arsenal. Is that what you're, you're Arsenal man, yeah? No, him. This one here. Oh, okay. Liverpool. Oh, Liverpool. Okay. Well, it's not looking for Arsenal. Reset. But, um, you know. <laughs> Two days ago, I had a, my first shahada on my own, and such an experience I had here. The guy was crying and everything, but there's another Muslim brother next to me for the hijack it. Like he wanted to take it, so I backed off. I said, "Subhanallah, look at this guy. I can tell he wants to take the shahadas this way." I backed off. Then the guy goes, "Look, I want to talk to him. Can you please leave us? Let us be." As soon as you take the shahada, that guy who himself hasn't got a beard. And now you have to keep a beard, you have to remove them tattoos, you have to do this, you have to do that. <laughs> SubhanAllah, I'm scaring the guy. Yeah. I'm saying, what's all this? You know? That's it, bro. Muslims will fail tickets. Oof. 
If you win, I will take the Sarada. Mega two talk. What are you on about? If you win. Subjective. Your hearts are closed. Yeah, I'm gonna go live from Relax. Yeah, I'm gonna go live from OSCC Dawa channel. So, inshallah, tune in the other one, yeah? Join the other one. Going live now. OSCC.